What is going on there guys? Welcome back to the Hawk FC Creator Cup career mode in FIFA 23. So we are right back at it. We're in November. We're going to be moving very swiftly ahead with this season. Um, at the moment we are sitting fourth in the Premier League. Six wins, one loss, oh, uh, one draw and three losses, sorry, in ten games. So we are, get, we, we've got a big chunk of the season out. We usually you kind of get some a feel of where you're at. When you're playing the first 10 games, so and at the minute uh, we're playing Brighton, who are um, well, who's right behind us to be honest. One 17 points, we're on 19. I've got to say, that is one addition to Korea. I don't understand why it doesn't tell you where they are when you just, it says like your team versus that team, like it usually would. I don't really understand why it doesn't do that anymore. It just tells you the points. It seems like it'd be more. It would make more sense to have like fourth place and sixth place or something, even though it's not. I think they're, they're well, the joint's fifth actually. So um, let's just have a quick look at who we've got coming up in this month of fixtures. What well, we've only got four games this month, but um, we have got a cup competition still in it. So relatively, hopefully, we'll have a good episode here. We've got Man United as well. We've got Palace and we've got Newcastle. So some really really tough games coming up and we're just gonna have to see how we do obviously United are right up there with us as well so I feel like Brighton's definitely a team I really want to play as well because these guys are right next to us I want to try and create a little bit of separation there they've got a pretty decent team in all honesty so you know what let's go out there with our best starting 11 at the HP Arena let's hope we get a big win here we go, the first big game of the episode against Brighton. We're not going to waste any time, we're going to get straight into this. We've got our best starting 11 out there. Hopefully we have a, we start showing a little bit more of the form, what we, we need from this season, really. Kiro picks it up. Saicedo is playing against his former club as well today. Kuba picks it up. Oh, and Kuba goes for it, but Anana very, very smartly covers his near post. Harsh on us, but it's fine. We'll take it. When we go for it, and Costa has to tip it over. But it was a hell of a hit by, I think, Soler. He just he sort of knuckleballed it, and it, it looked like it was going straight over, but it just made a massive dip. Captain Harding. Saicedo. Going to try and get this over to Nacho. Does bring it down, but then he can't get it away from the prime player on him and a flash. Oh my god, Post has been beaten by Brozier. It's just it just walloped out and in. It didn't look like it had much power in it. It look at that, it's just been set up, is it the first time? It actually looks like it was going wide. Oh my god. I, I don't understand what we could do about that. Oh, look at this. Ganacho is going in himself. Oh my god, he just went the whole way. Bernana again denies us. That is what I like to see. Some good work from my midfielder there. And we get it right back. That is what I love. In all honesty, we couldn't do much about that other goal. Brozier put it in. Unfortunately, Costa couldn't get to it. Would expect a little bit more from him, but we'll let it go. Coney. Done that a couple of times today now. He's picked up the ball well. We can. I think an old Hawkeye legend in the, in the books. Kone, who's just done well there to get past Vallejo! And he created the space with a few step overs, and he gets his second of the day! 
This might be the game where Man and Kone explodes onto the Premier League scene. Well, for Hawke I've seen anyway. He's done it for, for Newcastle, obviously. But he has absolutely smashed that one and passed Unan. And we have turned this game on its head. Well in, boys. How much luck do you need? Just watch this again. Tadebo should have made his challenge. And he did. But look at where the ball goes. Right to Rutter. <coughs> My God. It's going some obscure goals. Debo, you have to be doing that better. You are letting that ball just go right straight through your legs. You can't be doing that. Kubo! Worked it well there. We waited, we just stopped, waited, and waited for the pass. But again. It just feels like one in games where you, there we have to keep on scoring to have a chance at winning, and that's it's an annoying game of football sometimes. Don't mind an odd game like this where it's just backwards and forwards. It's an interesting game, man, but not every bloody game, guys. Massey, he's got it out of it. Oh, Massey's won the start we need in the start of this half. Massey used his strength and got that ball back. Good stuff by uh, by George Massey. Get in. Did well to keep the ball there. They were pressing us and made a couple of fouls themselves. Look about this time they make a mistake. 4-2, come on boys. Brilliant little layoff and Kubo will get his second. And now we are starting to sing the tune I want you to, and that is what I'm loving right now. Kubo is being like an orchestrator in that midfield, Massey involved, Altrich involved. I love it from start to finish. It could still get worse, but can't quite work out one out. Gakia, bit of pace. Ah, just offside. I just couldn't get that pass off early enough. But that will be job done. Man can see this half. I'm quite happy about that. We'll take that. Well in, boys. Solid play despite them two goals. But in all honesty... They could have been worse. Did even made a mistake for the second goal. But apart from that, we played very well. I'm very, very happy with that. Here we go, guys. Next game, number two. I am just feeling that we could have a really good episode. If we can get a good win here who are against a team who we will be fighting for that top six place with, it will go such a long way. It's not going to be an easy game. 
We haven't played. I don't know if I've actually played against United yet. I can't remember because I think I've simulated. I definitely simulated at least one of the games last year, last season. They got Frank Kessie, as you can see, so he's not a bad player. We still got the Hayer in there, as I saw. Um, I've only made one change. We got John Stones as that I can see there, and Quinn Doozy. Jesus Christ. Grimaldo I see there as well. Some interesting players. The only change I've made is I've dropped Ty Sado for this match. He's on the bench and I've put in Ulrich here, but I've also switched him and Kone's position because obviously I've got instructions. Uh, Kone's going to play more of that defensive role hopefully for me today. Let's look at this Manchester United team. So as I said, David De Gea is still in net. A little Mento is in there. But Sandra Martinez, that's not a bad backline. Gendrizi and Kessier and Marquinhos. I think that's another um, Arsenal player. Alexander Isaac as well up there. Paqueta, I don't know where Zion is. We've got Ravel on the bench as well. As I said, we'll stick with our best start at 11, what, what faced uh, Brian uh, last week. But the only difference is Lauren Ulrich is coming into the starting lineup. Let's get this game underway. A big game in the grand scheme of things. <coughs> oh, what a pass there by Ganacho! Oh, Kubo. I don't know what is happening there. Massey, he's done really well! Oh, Martinez, stop it with Astor. Kuol, oh my god, he got free. And he really let rip there. De Gea had to be on his toes. Ganacho with another delivery. And it's, so oh, it's nearly there. Hey, Nuri, can he maybe get into a crossing position here? And then Kewal's there! Kewal has missed a sitter. He's got a man all over him, but if he just puts that header forwards like I wanted him to, I don't know why he put it sort of to the, to the side. Hit with the side of his head rather than the forehead. Gakia. Confident play there from the right back. And Kewal, who's got inside of Grimaldo and now he's on goal and it's against De Gea and he put it wide he tried and out the boot shot it just wouldn't curl enough and it's squeezed past the far post we have definitely given more than enough account of ourselves here but we know what this game's like and it can just turn on a dime on us but that is a solid, solid challenger. Kubo! Kubo! He has done it again! He has scored a scream at this time, though. The rest were good finishes inside the box. This one was a belter. At the theatre of dreams, could you think of many better venues? Look at this. He just got away from his man, and then it's an absolute peach of a finish. He sort of toe pokes it. Oh my god! Oh my god, I didn't know he did that. I didn't even go for that. He did a robotic. He, he did a robotic finish. Oh my god, how the hell did he gather the power out of that? I call it a bit of bullshit, but I don't give a shit. That looked beautiful. Ignori! Oh, he went for it, but the hair again with an absolutely brilliant save. Ignori nearly trying to get his first goal for the club. Tadebo's there, and he did have a swing at it. Ganduzi losing it again. How many times have we said that already in this game? But that is brilliant, and it's Kone, he's going to finish this, and we take two goals at Old Trafford, Manu Kone, again, 
has shown his quality in this game. We have doubled our lead. And we could be going towards a big win. Again, Gwendouzi giving the ball away. And it's a brilliant, brilliant piece of piece of work there from Massey. Getting the ball out. Got to bring Tysaid along. A bit of fresh legs. But again, absolutely fabulous work. And we have really controlled this game so far. We've done really well defensively. Hopefully we keep it up. Got to say, the passing from the midfield has really let down Man United to this game. to get one and again that's come from the one mistake we've made where we managed to we've managed to get down the side of us feel at this point and also the other cost of getting beaten is near post oh and I feel like this is where we're gonna start bloody playing like stupid football My God, I, I can't even possibly get anyone out to them right now. Out of nowhere, they just started playing well. Oh, I didn't get that ball. Can't find anyone now. No! Oh, thank God for that. I thought we gave away a penalty then. I don't know how we would have done that. Harden to Keza Hayden. Come on. I know that was a bit boring at the end, but I had to make sure that that, that result. You just know inevitably we're going to score, but you know what? We all see the one. I guess that's the start. We defended. Apart from that one chance they had, we kept him out so well. But that man got the winner in the end, and he is in some fine form. He's had two back-to-back -back world class games. Again, though, I've got to say, Saicedo came on and it seemed a little bit less controlled. Is it time to give Ulrich a start? So we're out of that. Two wins on a bounce. But we are gonna simulate a game now against Crystal Palace. Can we get a good win here? Let's find out. We are at home. Hopefully we can continue it. And we do. Manu Kone again involved. Alejandro Ganacho and Archer who comes on in the second half to get it. A 3-0 beat of Crystal Palace. I'll take that. Three wins on the bounce. I think it might be four because I think we won our last match in the, the last month. But three wins in a row in this episode. What I'm really, really happy about. This next game against Newcastle, we're going to simulate the yellow in the table, but we'll see. And we two with them as well. Massive with a brace. Q oh, yes, get in. We are starting to win these games we should be. That is what I'm loving to see right now. So we have had the shortest as well, just so we can see it. The shortest for player of the year for 2027. Mbappe, Haaland, Foden and Fatty. So obviously Haaland and Mbappe, you didn't expect to. Interest to see people like Foden there, Fatty there. Interesting, so we'll have to see, wait and see who, who gets that. So I'm going to leave it here on this 1st of December, but I'm just going to show you what we've got coming up. We've got a hell of a month of December coming up. A big, big month. And this could decide a lot on how we go ahead. I mean, to be honest, we're playing a lot of games. I reckon we should win. Obviously, we've got, we have got Spurs. But apart from that, really, every single one of these games, I feel like we should win. 
I've also got the game, the quarterfinals in the Carabao Cup, what I do want to win. So I'm definitely going to be playing that on the next episode. So hopefully we'll see what happens there. It could be another semi fan. I don't even know if I'm going to get fully out of this month because I still want to play a few games. I don't want to simulate every single one. But it will really show where we are at. Uh, I'll show you the table for now. Show you where we're standing right now. We are we are currently second place in the table. What I'm really happy about. Three points against Spurs. So if we can keep that close to them, up until the point we play them, that could be a really big decider. And not only that, we are seven points ahead of Manchester United now. We have not. We've won every single game this episode. Four games, four wins. That is what I wanted to see. That is what I asked for in the last episode, some consistency. And that's what we have. That's what I love to see. But I am really interested to see where we go from here. Because we've got the Carabao Cup coming up. Obviously, we'll see how we go in the FA Cup as well. We could go We could go get another one of them. Uh, we'll see. Um, I do, hopefully, we'll see what happens in January. But I do want to make a couple of signs, like more backups and a bit of depth signing, if anything. But I don't know whether I might bring someone in with a bit of experience. I don't know. I'll see. Uh, but we are, technically speaking, in a title race. Because we are two points ahead of City. Three points ahead of Liverpool. And as I said, seven points ahead of Man United. And only three points behind leader Spurs. We could very, very well go on a title run. I'm not going to say we're going to win the title. Because I feel like we will have games where we'll lose it. And I'm not, I'm not going to put the pressure on us. Honestly, I'd just love to finish in that top four. We've, we've had a shot in a Europa League. Didn't work out. I'd love to get ourselves into the Champions League now for next year. That is where we can go off. But I'd love a bit of silver weather season. Whether it is the FA Cup. Whether it is the Carabao Cup. What well, Honestly, we are t three games technically away from a final. That is how close we are. Technically two rounds away. Obviously, I know the same final is a double-legged in the Carabao Cup. But still... Really excited to see where this is going to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are enjoying this series, please hit a big thumbs up on this video. And also help this channel grow and help me out by hitting that subscribe button if you are enjoying it. Because it just helps me out. Helps the channel grow. And I really want to get to that 1k uh, by the end of 2023. And even when we get closer to the next generation of FIFAs. Whether we're gonna, which one we're gonna go for, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. If you want to tr see me try out both games, what are supposedly going out, let me know. Um, but until I know more, I don't know if, uh, if I want to say much on that. But either way, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you later. Take it easy and bye bye.